I had a big news coming in. Two teachers have been arrested in Vijaywara for sexually abusing one of their students and forcing her to have abortions on three occasions. They have been charged under the Nirbhaya Act. After the third abortion, the 16-year-old girl reportedly fell ill and died within a week of being hospitalized. She died uh, two weeks ago and it is after investigations that the involvement of these two teachers has come to light. For more, let's get in a word from our editor South Tia Sudhir who is with us on the phone line. Sudhir, a shocking and gruesome story being reported from Vijaywada. Absolutely. In fact, it was the Krishna District Police which investigated this case so moto uh, because the teachers in this case had actually threatened the parents with dire consequences if they spoke out. But the fact that uh, for almost two years, uh, the girl was being abused from the time that she was in class nine by these two teachers, one of them the headmaster of her school who has since retired and also the second person who was the English teacher at her uh, school. Uh, both of them have now been charged under the Nirbhaya Act and in fact, uh, social organizations who I spoke to, they say that they would want a stern action to be taken against the teachers and made some kind of a case uh, that nobody actually does this kind of a heinous crime in the future. Right, and Sudhir, what's shocking is that this girl was brutally being tortured and abused for close to two years. She was forced to undergo abortions on three occasions and she didn't confide in anyone. This is what is very, very strange that she has not confided in either or any of her family members or friends about it and only after she was hospitalized and fell ill uh, that people suspected something hanky-panky and that, that's when the police decided to investigate this entire case because one of the teachers was the one who had actually taken her to the hospital to undergo the abortion. So in that sense, a very gruesome act being committed by these two teachers uh, who were in charge of her school uh, where she was studying from class 9. Uh, and obviously now uh, the, um, the politicians in Krishna district as well as the human rights organizations do want that stern action should be taken against these two perpetrators. Captain Sudhir, what's more alarming is the fact that this girl underwent abortions on three occasions. Was is, is there any detail available on whether or not she visited doctors? Why is it that the doctors did not notify the police considering that this girl was a minor? Well, that's another angle which the police is going to investigate now because whenever an abortion is done, there has to be some kind of a procedures which have to be followed in terms of notifying the necessary authorities. Obviously, none of that was really done. And it was the, um, the headmaster of the school uh, um, who had actually taken her to the hospital on the first two occasions. And obviously, uh, the matter had been hushed up using his own contacts. So the police is really investigating into what really happened in each of the three occasions and taking the case after that. Right. So, did you telling us that the headmaster of the school had personally accompanied this girl when she went for an abortion on the first two occasions? This means that uh, school authorities were also hand in glove with the teachers? Well, uh, what we are told is that essentially it was being done by this headmaster in the first instance. He had taken her to a local hospital in Krishna district. Uh, uh, reportedly got the abortion done with the assistance of some um, nurses at that particular local hospital uh, and thereafter also continued with what he was doing with the girl. Obviously the girl would have been extremely terrified with the fact that it was the headmaster of the school and obviously did not have the courage to actually complain uh, against him or perhaps she did not know who to really complain against the headmaster of the school and it was later that the English teacher also got into the act. Um, obviously the girl was extremely traumatized and was hospitalized for almost a week before she passed away and now uh, the people there, the family members as well as the local organizations want action to be taken uh, against these three people because they obviously realized that for two years the girl had actually undergone a whole lot of mental and physical torture. Right, and Sudhir, what's more alarming is that the parents had no idea. This girl had been admitted to a hospital on three occasions. After, during, on, on the third uh, occasion, she in fact was hospitalized for over a week following which uh, she died due to the kind of injuries that she had sustained and the trauma that her body had been through. But her parents also did not communicate with the doctors to find out why she was being admitted regularly. Well, uh, obviously that has not happened. In fact, uh, what is even more uh, shocking is that it was the headmaster who even after retirement actually took uh, the girl uh, to the junior college where she was to get admission after the class, uh, after te after the 10th class and took the responsibility for that girl. So obviously the parents seem to have had a decent impression of the headmaster as someone who was taking care of their child's education. Uh, so obviously they haven't felt uh, any, kind of, any kind of suspicion about what the girl was up to or what the headmaster was up to as far as their daughter was concerned. But yes, uh, women's organizations do demand that obviously the girl because of the authority of the headmaster may have been extremely intimidated uh, to actually go ahead and complain against him complain against him or even confide in anyone against what he was doing 
Absolutely. And uh, Sudhir, you're telling us that the police has arrested the two teachers. Has action been taken against the school authorities, the doctors involved, and even the headmaster, who you're telling us uh, had has now retired. Well, um, the, the, the headmaster and the English teacher have been um, arrested. They have been um, sent to judicial custody. The, the, the larger part of the investigation would obviously talk. I mean, also cover the hospitals where these uh, abortions uh, actually uh, took place. But yes, uh, the primary focus of the investigation would uh, focus on uh, what the uh, two teachers did. And thereafter, would actually look at the larger role of the hospitals and the support staff at the hospitals who actually assisted them in carrying out these abortions on this girl. Captain Sudhir, can you give us a sense of where exactly the school is located? What's the kind of students who are studying here? Is this a government school or a private school? Well, uh, this uh, this is a private school um, uh, which is in Krishna district in a place called Avanigatta and uh, uh, which is the rural part of Krishna district outside of Vijayawada. Um, and uh, the fact that this kind of incident wasn't known to anyone is what has really shocked people. Um, uh, because uh, the headmaster and the English teacher thereafter were actually carrying out these activities for over two years without anyone in the school, the other teachers or the other students actually coming to know of it, the girl not confiding in anyone. It actually raises the larger and very disturbing questions about the kind of uh, awareness among the girls that they can actually go ahead and actually complain to any of the authorities in, in question. That hasn't happened and that is something which has really shocked and disturbed a lot of people out there. So, thanks so much for uh, bringing us the latest on this shocking and gruesome story that's coming to light from Vijayawara. 16-year-old is uh, sexually abused for more than two years. She's forced to undergo abortions three on three occasions, and she's assaulted by her teachers. Following which, she she actually dies. Now, a case has been registered against the headmaster who actually accompanied her to the hospital to get those abortions done. And uh, one of the school teachers who had been abusing this 16 year old for more than two years. Here's a quick wrap all the international stories that we're tracking this Monday morning. The prosecution's application to appeal against Oscar Pistorius's culpable homicide conviction and five year prison sentence will be heard in a Pretoria court tomorrow. If Pistorius is found guilty of murder on the appeal, he will face a minimum of 15 years in jail. His defence lawyers say they would oppose the appeal. The wreckage from MH17, which was downed over eastern Ukraine in July, was sent to Germany on Sunday, from where it will be transported to the Netherlands for investigation. The plane was downed on the 17th of July over eastern Ukraine, killing all 298 passengers and crew members on board. Addressing protests over minorities killed by police officers in America, President Barack Obama said that racism was deeply rooted in the U.S. and that activists should keep pressing steadily in their demands for reform. Obama made the statement after holding meetings with young civil rights activists who were protesting the shooting of an unarmed black teenager by a white police officer last August in Ferguson.